this is that movie that is going to ruin it for a lot of other movies because it's we're ahead of schedule, we're under budget, we're shooting on a lake in the summer. It's with Rob Reiner, and it's just awesome. My name is Jared Goldman. I am uh, I've been a member of the Producers Guild for two or three years. Alan Greisman. I think I've been a member about five years. I'm not 100 percent sure. My name is Morgan Freeman, and I'm not a member of the PGA. But I have a producing partner who is a member of the PGA. She's all up in the PGA's business. My name's Lori McCreary. I've been a member of the Producers Guild for, I actually don't remember how long I've been, but every year has been perfect. I got involved when Rob called us, unfortunately, to pass on directing one of our other projects. And I just had this feeling that I needed to tell him, because I don't, didn't think Morgan had told him, that we wanted to find a project for Morgan and he to work on again together. 20 minutes later, he called and said, I have a project I'm working on now, and I never thought of Morgan because it's a 50-year-old main character, but I think it would be perfect for Morgan. I was initially, I was the guy on the ground in New York, so I was coming up here uh, and telling them what my concerns were initially, which was really only like, what happens if there are boats on the water? How do we, do we put a, PA on a jet ski, how does that work? Um, this town has been so great, so we've got cops, local Greenwood Lake cops, on boats, and they go out and they tell people to cut their engines. This one is 25 days. Uh, the movies that Rob and I have done have always been in the 40 to as most close to 50 days, and um, this is a very contained story, so it lent itself to it. It's really ultimately just about um, managing people, time, and money, regardless of the size. So it's the the trickier thing on these smaller movies is making sure that the the team that gets assembled know how to stay nimble without having a lot of money to deal with it. I think if you're a producer, you should be involved in as many areas of your film as possible, all the way from developing through marketing through the DVD, through the online release. I think you should be involved in every part of it. And wherever I can, I insert myself. Even on a studio movie, I call the marketing department, ask to be in the meetings. She's very talented as a uh, producer and uh, very creative as a partner. So it works well for me, you know, and also and it, it keeps me out of trouble because I don't have to pretend that I know what I'm doing in terms of producing. He's an actor, and he will sometimes take an executive producer credit if he's, for instance, donated his fee to the movie because it's basically like partially financing the movie, or if we've spent our money, like he was an executive producer on Invictus because we paid for the option of the book, we paid for the writing of the script, we basically developed that project before we brought it to Clint Eastwood. So he'll, he, but he's very judicious on where he'll put his name on a movie or not, which I think is really honoring of the producer. I think the producer has a unique perspective about the film, about the filmmaker, the director, and about the talent that the, the bigger kind of studio machine sometimes might not be able to understand or get access to. And I think it's our job to really be that communicator and that hub for all the different um, people that come in and out of your movie all along the way.